Good morning. Today is Tuesday, July 18, 2017, and we're doing the morning business headline commentary. Looking at the uh, very immediate headline, Goldman shares fell on 40% bond trading plunge despite earnings speed. So this shows the uh, changing dynamics of investment banks right now, the smaller investment banks. Um, such as Goldman Sachs where their business are heavily regulated and a lot of these uh, trading profits are regulated away <clears throat> so you see right here uh, as a result of these new regulations they need these kind of new regulation to put a tight hole on the risk they're betting that can hurt the economy so that's a new evolution of the current Goldman Sachs investment bank uh, dynamics in their earnings GM says Chevy Bolt is not selling well you know compared to the Toyota Prius that has a proven reliability Chevy Bolt still have a long way to go They say uh, paperwork is missing on uh, a lot of student loan debt, maybe wiped away. These universal banks um, are able to beat their earnings uh, because they have a large balance sheet. Netflix did a good job in having added 5.2 million subscribers, question estimates. Stocks sold more than 10%. That's not bad. They had debt problems sinking three major Chinese companies. Yes, a lot of these companies bought a lot and now they're coming around and unable to having trouble to pay in the back. Harley Davidson plunged ten percent of the coming twenty seventeen shipment forecast. Well as you know the bikes are just like a, a fad in terms of styling. And there's not much um, uniqueness um, that separates them in terms of reliability or family use. All right, let's go to the Wall Street Journal. GOP abandoned Senate health care bill. Plans to repeal for which will not work. Let's go to the futures. Seems look like an easy tray on the go. Look at that, it's pretty easy. If you just catch it overnight, you'd probably be winning it. Cool out at 46.82. Asia is doing well. A lot of these uh, foreign countries are buying drones from China. So that's a little bit of competition. Again, Goldman Sachs reports a surprise profit increase. All right, so, you know, um, this uh, we're entering the earnings season. A lot of major earnings are coming about. So, in besides the easy go trade, there's a lot of trading for um, for these earnings. Uh, you place your bets well, you can do a lot. You can earn a lot. So, good luck with that. 
All right, today's Tuesday, July 18, 2017. Um, talking about the current economic situation. You can see that uh, major banks are increasing profits without the trading profits. That means the overall the mechanics of the economy is pretty good. Um, what else? Um, let's go to business. China aims to take over the car industry. I don't think they'll be able to take over the car industry. They'd be like, you know, participating a portion of the market share, global market share. And they stay within China because there's a major market for them to, it's bigger than the United States market, car market. United Health sees strong growth despite excess from ACA markets. Yes, healthcare is a very lucrative. Um, besides, it's not socialized like the other countries. All right, today's uh, Tuesday, July 18, 2017, and this is the morning headline commentary. Uh, something I know, my commentaries are sometimes actionable, like the mentioning of the crude oil reaching 44, and my commentary on the volatility of various assets, um, and so forth like that. Um, last year, um, when Modi went for a big hug on Amazon, after I featured Amazon in one of my videos, um, I featured Amazon in my videos, and now it's like a near the all-time high. Uh, McDonald's was featured in one of my previous videos. Now it's at a near all-time highs. Um, yeah, so uh, I have uh, Indian followers and also Chinese business followers. Um, those that understand the uh, you know ulterior issues are able to execute very well. All right, happy trading. Today's uh, Tuesday, July 18th.